Hello guys, this is Max and welcome to this video about Axe. In this in this first search session, we are gonna to start doing a to-do list to manage some some expectations. This is not totally intended as a tutorial, but more than myself playing with the language and hope that you learn something that contributes to to your formation. So I'm using Visual Studio Code and working on Windows. Probably to install Axe, uh, you you will find some information on the internet. My process was very easy. I downloaded an installer for the 64 bits version and installed it. And I have this command available. So I have. A, Axe 4.1.4 So to start the to do I'm going to make a class called to do manager punto hx and I'm gonna open it so to start an Axe program we have a syntax sim pretty similar to Java. We declare a class. Check that the name of the class is the same as the one in the in the file. And next, we need a public static function name. And this is the entry point of the program. The same thing as, as void main in rb char r c. Sorry, that was. This is the right order. But we don't use that here, so cool. To check if the if the program is working, we are going to display a message on the console. Hello from to manager. And something that I doesn't explain is explain is that everything inside a class is private by default. So if I had a function that is function my other fun my other fun can be accessed from here so this is invalid and uh, regarding to, to this not sure because I didn't try to instantiate the class that contains main so oh and the static is the same static as any any other object or in the language in which the static is a method of the of the class and a class method and not a, an instance specific one so let me delete the rubbish okay and now using a console i have this git, git bash but doesn't matter you can you can use the default shell this cmd and locate your folder, your project folder, and run this command axe main. And we are gonna indicate where is the main the main method in which class and file this in to do manager and interp that I think it's interpreted interpreted if and if I run this I got Hello from to do manager. So it was executed. 
you could follow the tutorial using probably the online the online actor or something like that but in a future video i'm gonna do a complete a complete I don't know, a complete path about the installation and blah blah but I don't wanna do do today because it's pretty boring so let's continue with the with the important things to do that to do to do to start the to-do list we are gonna need tasks task to add to the to-do so I'm gonna create a um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a um, anonymous task to think about the the structure and the data that we need to store. So to declare a variable we use the bar keyword and that remember reminds me about the but in JavaScript, I miss let. So bar my task, and this is an anonymous, anonymous structure. So we are going to have a title my task one and. Mm, duration an estimated duration in seconds or in minutes that is one hour so we call we call print this task using the same trace and trace is similar to but well do the same that console.log in javascript so we are gonna delete the rubbish again and run ax main to do manager.interp and one thing that I love about ax is that the print Printing things is the same as printing things in in JavaScript. I do not need to format the anonymous structure. It formats itself in in the in the trace. So good. Well, if I wanna have another task. I can do this, right? My task does. Okay, so my, my task two. So if I run it I again, I have my task one and my, my task two. But this is pretty impractical as I need to add my task three and etc. etc. So what do we need? We need something like an array or a list so I'm gonna declare a task list and, and I can do it in a similar way to JavaScript or a more explicit one Like new array of something. So we are gonna comment this because it's gonna fail and we are gonna run. Oh for for like this. We are gonna run the, the program to check what if there is any problem no problems so we are gonna have a task list but, but a task 
list of what and here it comes the the task one thing that we could do is create a task as a class object and declare bar title public as we explained public bar title and we have some types in axe as far as I know in float bool and stain uh, also void but void only for return for return nothing and string is not a primitive the only primitives are those three so this is one approach create a, a class called task but I I like a, a simple I like the simple one more similar to, to JavaScript and more similar to this to this anonymous structure So we, we use the word type def to define a new type and we are called this type task and what is the content of a task is a title that is a string and also a duration with a int and we can we could have a, a priority which is gonna be an int for now something like zero equal low and three equal two or high and for sure we need an ID of type int okay so what what could we do with this bar my task 2 of type task this the type of my tax is inferred as an anonymous anonymous type with this structure but something interesting is that if my task have the same structure as my task 2 as long as I read we could replace my task 2 with my task in any place and vice versa so I didn't try this but could we assign one to another? I'm not sure. Probably at now not, cause currently not, cause as the compiler error said, task the the first my task doesn't have an ID field, so the structure is different and. If we add the ID, like ID zero, it doesn't have a priority. So if we have the priority and save, no more errors. So if we execute the, the program, we got the same. Title my task one, ID zero, priority is zero, and duration in minutes 60. So, hope you like this first tutorial and hope you learn something. See you later. later. Goodbye.